Speaking of managers, speaking of managers, let's discuss someone that you would know very, very well, Mauricio Pochettino, and the impact that he's had at Chelsea. I'm going to give you a couple of stats here. He's only had one game, official game in charge. That was last week at the bridge against Liverpool. But some of the statistics, compared to last season for the Blues, they had a much higher average position on the pitch, high possession, substantially more big chances, touches in the opposition box, successful passes, passes in the opposition half, passes in the final third, and crosses. Are you at all surprised when I throw these stats at you? Uh, no, not at all. Um, you know, since his arrival there, he sort of um, operated um, the same way as he did when he arrived at Spurs. And, you know, that's no disrespect to the Spurs players back then and the current, you know, Chelsea players that have been moved on. But sort of, you know, the older players, um, he, he likes to move on and he loves working with younger players who just have the desire to run and run and run. And, you know, the stats that you read out previously, it's no surprise that they've made a significant improvement from uh, last season. Pochettino? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I, I sort of picked Danny's brains on the way home, you know, what Poch was like, because I'm fascinated by him as well. And, and Danny's obviously seen it firsthand day in, day out. Um, I think he's, even though Danny's absolutely spot on because he knows about the sort of senior pros, but I think he's got man management skills to deal with any senior pros that are at the club. He makes the younger pros want to play and, and play almost how we played as kids. You know, try and take the pressure off and just go out there. And, and again, I, I hope I'm not breaking confidence here. Danny told me last night when we were playing against, he said they were playing against Manchester City and you kind of half hoping you'd be like, sit back, you know, <laughs> you know keep defensive. And he's like, no, go at it. Well, isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. He's, he loves, you know, taking risks and he encourages his, his players to take risks. And if you make a mistake, no worries. You know, get the ball again and, and try it again. So that, that's him down to a T. Look, when it comes to Premier League football, this is the best of the best. They say only 1% of people that try to become professional footballers make it. And of that 1%, an even smaller percentage will make it to the highest level. So they're all very good players. All the managers are qualified. They're not coming straight out of school or something here. For me, when you're looking at that level, it's about creating a cohesive unit. Yes, training and tactics is one thing. How good is Poch for that? Because he had a barbecue, didn't he, when he first joined? And the Argentina squad in the World Cup had the same thing on a regular basis. It's this cohesiveness. Is that what he did at Spurs yeah, as well? Yeah, he, 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 he loves his, you know, team bonding and, you know, he, he wants the morale to be, you know, very, you know, very high and... Um, you know, we had a few, you know, bonding sessions like that, you know, barbecues at, at Spurs and uh, before the Champions League final, we spent uh, the night together at the training ground and he had us walking on fire, just, you know, he, he wanted us to believe, you know, that we could do that and then go on to obviously beat Liverpool in the, in the Champions League, but it didn't happen, but that's him, he's, uh, he, he's brilliant and, um, you know, I hope, you know, I don't know what the goal is for, for uh, Chelsea this season, but... Uh, you know, me and Scott were speaking yesterday about would we be a coach and th th we said the same thing. It just depends on the time you get and I just hope that he gets the time and um, it, it'll be onto something really great there at Chelsea. I'm sorry, I can't ignore what you just said. You walked on fire. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen... Before the... final. And which part of your body <laughs> do you use when you're playing football? Bef yeah, barefoot. And uh, the whole squad, um, I think he got somebody in from, uh, from Spain and uh, yeah, the whole squad had to walk across the, across the fire. Were there any that said no? No, you weren't allowed yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did you want to say no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was it, by the way? No, it, do you know what? It, it was fine. You didn't actually... Um, it's just more of a mental thing. So that's what you wanted to try and, you know, uh, translate that it's, you know, it's in your mind. And if you believe you can do something, you can do it. And, yeah, well, we didn't win the game, but, you know, it was a, it was a good night and uh, it was a, you know, valuable experience. Scott struggles of a hot curry, I've seen it myself in person. <laughs> I, I, I do with the hot curry. I'd have more chance of walking across hot coals than, <laughs> I think, than eating I think a hot we, curry. We all would. Uh,